Kazuichi gets down on one knee and proposes to Crazy Uncle Extra Large. They've been in the entourage for so long, but Kazuichi's finally developed the feels. He's been caught in his feels. Crazy Uncle Extra Large accepts, and the two happily skip away from the corner code. This is it. Good day. Good people, Toon Link Dave. United States Avatar Year of the Horizon. The last episode in tag team action before the titles are on the line. And today, they could be on the line. Welcome back to... Don Gon Rampa Hunger Games. And what will be... And let me wait for them to say that word real quick, because we love to hear him say it. What will be... An interesting two days. Two big episodes. In this episode, it is Band-Aid versus every team who has not made the bracket. And tomorrow is a fan- is, is a very fun 1 versus 100 episode. <laughs> it's Hina versus... 100 other people. Hina's on her own team, everyone else is unaffiliated. So we'll see what happens. But for today, I'm looking at the wheel. It has not hit so many times this season. Today is the final chance. But first, let's introduce everyone who's here today. The champs, Band-Aid, Abuki, Mikan, and Seiko, trying to prove that they are fighting champions, trying to ensure that the titles have a chance to be defended during the season. They're trying to make sure, they're trying to do everything in their power. They're showing up and they're showing off. But the wheel's just not hidden. The big buff family, Sakura, Nakamaru, and Gonta. Prepare for trouble, Sonya, Gundam, and Jin. The proud fathers, Jin, Taichi, and Gerald. The Asylum, Kaede, Crazy Yoko Extra Large, and Crazy Hyoko. The Jacket Failures, Kaito, and Hiro. The big sisters, Sarah, Hina, and Mukuro. In the family, Canon and Cory. And as we scroll, we see Dominance, Mew, Akane, and Clover. The Power of God in Anime, Azuru, and Mitarai. Fanfic Fantasy, Kafumi, and Usami. The Beanie Brigade, Kazuichi, Ryoma, and Ruruka. The Dark Arts Specialist, Lysithia, and Katoko. Love Triangle, Munakata, Chisa, and Juzo Art Class. Mishima, Jotaro, and Angie. T.S.M. Sato and Natsumi, the pure boys Yuta, and Izayoi, and Joe, the hotheads Mahiru, Himiko, and Himino. And as we go on even further, as we go beyond, <laughs> no, no AI and DM, Alter Ego, Chiaki, and Aiba, the dead eyes, Togami, Maki, and Komaru, Hope's last stand, it's their last stand, Kibo, Nane Ai Chiaki, and Makoto, Small and Mighty Fuyi Gojiro and Monotaro, Show Me Your Moves, Tinko, and Iris, The Watchful Protectors, Pennyworth, and Kizakura, The Murderous Mascots, Monokuma, and Zero the Third, Black and White, Shirakuma, and Kurakuma, Fight Club, The Great Gozu, and Felix Masaru is there with them, and as we go on to the last few, The Loving Brothers, Rantaro, Mondo, and Alice, The Sim Squad, Oda, and Nagisa, Peko, Jack, and Kai form sharp edges. Boss time is here, trying to make it their time. Kurumi and Boss, the timid followers, Aiko and Kana, the awful intense Haiji and Tengen and Metacrops, Hiroko, best girl Hiroko, Mercedes, and Daisaku. And I'm gonna take a deep breath because <laughs> that's everyone who's here today. Make sure. First, second, and third. Who do you got? I might have to take a pause because I'm gonna have to spin the wheel and it could hit. It'd be interesting because these champs would only be champs unless they successfully retain for two weeks. Because two weeks from today, it'll be the tag team finale. But for right now, after you've left your comments for first, second, and third, because you, you need to do that right now. You gotta do it. Because those comments are important and they're so spicy like this one. So hot like this one. So caliente like that one. <laughs> but you know I'm stalling. And we can't stall for too long because it's gonna be a long one. 
I'm going to hit record in three, two, one, and that song is going to play right now. Are you ready? The last time. This is the final time that chaos can reign. Will I have to add mind trip into this fray? That would be true chaos. This would be true chaos. But let's see if it does happen as we spin. And we release and go. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. I don't even know what's been done to me. But I feel a mysterious life energy. This technique, it's impossible to defend against it or evade it. I knew I should have just put them in here anyway. I'm gonna have to redo this roster real quick. Of course. Of course. Of course. It took the entire season. It took Band-Aid trying, trying to be the greatest fighting champions of all time, giving opportunity after opportunity. And now the opportunity has been cashed in. I'll be right back because I gotta add this. And there, there, and yes. Okay, cool. Which means, lo and behold, this match is now for the Dongon Rapa Hunger Games Tag Team Champions of the World. And so, yeah, I guess I might as well. <laughs> I would, I didn't do it. If you noticed, I didn't do it. Um, the first time Chaos ran because I was so shocked tossing on this jacket. Oh, right there. Oof. It feels good. It sure does. Okay. Well, first, second, and third. Now who do you got? Because <laughs> it's super important. Holy heck. I still... I, I'm getting chills a little bit. If I had to pick a team, I have to pick Prepare for Trouble. I have to. Second place, give me... Give me Hina. And the big sisters, just so Hina holds all the championships. She knows what she's doing. And lastly, give me... Because whoever whoever gets it, they're going to have it for, what, two weeks unless they retain. I like the Beanie Brigade a lot. Give me the Beanie Brigade. Although, I love Nagisa. Give me the Beanie Brigade. Give me the Beanie Brigade. Oh, b mm, boss time. Oh, crap. I should have... Well, you know what? I have my picks. Prepare for trouble, big sisters, and of course, everyone's oh, small and mighty is there too. There's a lot of good teams, a lot of good teams. But I gotta stick with my three. Prepare for trouble, the big sisters, and the beanie brigade. I think it's... Do I have my... I don't know if I have the die. I might have to go up and... And get up and go get it. I think I tossed it. I did sure. I sure did toss it to the side after I put it in the bag. Here I was thinking I was all set. All prepared. You know, I picked all of these uh, these teams, but I really do believe in Band-Aid still. I think they're going to walk out of this one and retain. They're the only team that can get you a fan vote. And I'm the only man who can materialize and die. From thin air. It's for the titles. 
Band-Aid, I'm always rooting for you. But there's a lot of good teams here. Let's find out who will snatch this win. I don't know. This is a really interesting one because we're allowing all the trios to be here. So let's just find out how many times for this championship episode. It's just a trio, speaking of, of re-simulations. <sighs> for the titles, we re-simulate not one time. Not two times. But as we bring this music to a close, I can say, in this wintry arena, we re-simulate three. Three times, we have done it. Whoever comes out on top, those are the ones. Those are the homies. Those are the champs. Before we do that, this Sunday is the last of the four OC qualifiers. And it's gonna be a fun one. You'll see a lot of the semi the, the, the events that happen here. But most importantly, we gotta go. We gotta see just what unfolds. Mind trip, they cashed in. Can they do it? Can they Oh wait, that's true. Band-Aid's not the only team now. Mind Trip could also get you guys a fan vote. Let's see if it happens as we proceed to the bloodbath. The titles are on the line. Who will come out on top? I don't know, but what I can say is that it is time. Sato, Rantaro, both of you good luck today. You're both here. What if you would take a moment from the action before things start and you would sound the horns? I would even, mm, they sound so much sweeter when the title is on the line. Yuta scares Peter away from the cornucopia. Kizakura grabs a sword. Aiko runs away from the cornucopia. Hiroko and Mansaro agree to kill each other last. Kai shoots a poisonous dart into Daisaku's neck, slowly killing him. That is a one gone from Metacrops. Zero the Third begs for one of Himino's weapons. She feels bad and reluctantly gives it to Zero the Third. Gundam and Kai, they run away from the cornucopia. Maki bashes Himiko's head in with a mace. Himiko, you haven't had a good season. Kori runs away from the cornucopia. Makoto finds a hole. The lucky boy found a French horn. In the corner co Oh, that sounds good. He plays it skillfully as he sounds the horns. Makoto, I was looking for a French horn player, and you brought it in. You, you came home with it. That's my boy. Makoto, welcome to the horn bearers. Hero finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Kana gets a kitchen knife. Tenko sets off an explosive, KOing Sarah, the great Gozu, Munakata, and Gerald. That's four gone immediately. Hina grabs as much food as possible. Alter Ego runs into a Yeti in the forest, but manages to escape those Yetis. Let me tell you, they are devastating in the simulator. Jin finds Joe hiding in the cornucopia and kills him. Jin, oh my gosh, what have you done? My hero ignores the opening ceremonies and plays video games with Felix instead. Apparently, that's probably a training simulator. He's just busy training. Sakura, Boss, and Kibo get into a fight. Boss triumphantly kills them both. She's trying to make sure that it's boss time today. Sonya rips a mace out of Ruruka's hands. Taichi, Mondo, and Katoko start fighting, but Mondo runs away as Taichi kills Katoko. Katoko, you also have not had the best of seasons. Crazy Yoko runs away from the cornucopia, as does Jotaro, as does Sato, but Mishima takes a handful of throwing knives. Mercedes runs away from the cornucopia. Chihiro comes to the arena to capture a dangerous killer that escaped from an insane asylum. Who could that be? Jack? Any of the <laughs> folks from the asylum? Tengen runs away. From the cornucopia, Andy tries to explain to Monokuma that there's been a, state, a mistake, she's not supposed to be here. Natsumi gets carried away and challenges Monokuma. In response, Monokuma rips her in half. Well, well, Mikan forces Haiji to sing, Please give me wings. Lysithia approaches Ryoma, Chisa, and Rantaro and tells them that she'll be killing them all this game. She was like, My tag team partner may be gone, but that doesn't mean that we can't win these titles. Clover runs away from the cornucopia. Nakamaru appears in the arena as if from nowhere. It's a Christmas miracle! Good on him. Gonta comes riding into the arena on a rare mount, making Akane and Mew jealous. Kurukuma finds a teleporter and it teleports him to the Despair Dimension. This sparks the question of who would build a teleporter to the Despair Dimension? I haven't the slightest. Togami takes a spear from inside of the cornucopia. Mitsurai and Nanayachiaki compare the knives that they found in the supply. Shirakuma comes in with a spoon. He gets laughed at. Don't laugh at the mans. That spoon is dangerous. That spoon could be a killer. Mukuro runs away. Genocide Jack grabs a surfboard, dude. K 
Cannon ignores the game and then goes looking for food, Alice and Karumi immediately become friends. Maybe. I could see that. Iris runs away from the cornucopia. Oh. Maya finds a trumpet inside of the cornucopia. She plays it tremendously as she sounds the horns. Who would have thought? Sato? Rantaro? Now have Makoto and Maya. I think there's only one or two more instruments left. Yes, there's two more. There's two more that I think about it. Good on you, Miss Maya. Master who scares. Izuoi from the cornucopia. Seiko agrees, uh, argues, I'm sorry, not agrees with Monokuma. That'd be a little bit deranged. A sudden surge of dread overcomes Peko as they notice Fuihiko staring at her in spot. It's probably deep in her heart, she knows. We are not on the same team. But Komaru's like, I know which team I am on, and sets off a bomb, killing Usami, Aiba, Chiaki, and Juzo. Komaru's going ham. Nagisa runs away from the cornucopia, as does Jen Hafumi. Also runs away. Kazuichi gets down on one knee and proposes to Crazy Yoko Extra Large. They've been in the entourage for so long, but Kazuichi's finally developed the feels. He's been caught in his feels. Crazy Yoko Extra Large accepts, and the two happily skip away from the cornucopia. I love it. I love you. I love it, you two. I'm proud of you. Pennyworth and Oda engage in a friendly knife fight. Monokuma, Kaito, and Azuru start fighting, but Kaito runs away as Monokuma kills Azuru. Rest in peace to him as Abuki takes a spear from inside of the cornucopia. That was just the bloodbath. We've lost a ton already. And as, as I'd love to give him a clair de lune. Right now. We can't do that. We gotta proceed. To day one. Jen begs for Pewter to kill him. He refuses keeping Jen alive. Good. Boss wakes up from a long nap. Yuta makes a snow angel. An angel in the snow, but much to his dismay, it looks like a snow devil instead. Thought he was part of the pure boys. That doesn't seem so pure. Izioi's phone rings, but there's no caller ID when he picks up. It's just Nagisa on the other line insulting him, tossing insults. It started when an alien device did what it did. It stuck itself upon her wrist with secrets that it hid. Now she's got superpowers. She's no ordinary kid. She's Sonya. Ten. That Omnitrix could come in handy for prepare for trouble. Could it cause trouble for them? I don't know. Genocide Jack receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, though. Monokuma sees Jotaro holding a meeting with Masaru, Mitarai, and Ruruka. Mukuro breaks out her cold weather wardrobe. Jin picks frozen berries in the forest. See? Beautiful, beautiful berries that aren't made of cardboard. Angie, Nani, Achiaki, Ryoma, and Shihiro swim in a magical lake hidden deep beneath the arena whose mystical waters turn them all into chibi forms of themselves. They proceed to kill Gundam with cuteness. It's a shame. Mew and Clover split up to search for resources. Aiko excitedly opens her advent calendar only to find not chocolate but an IOU from Karumi. Karumi, I didn't know you had a weakness for chocolate. Rantaro stares up the out ominous mountain towering in the center of the arena. Has it always been there? Mishima throws sand into the eyes of Makoto and runs off. Taichi uses a spell to suck the intelligence out of Kai but it fails because there's nothing to suck out. He's got no ideas. Got no ideas. Sato, Togami, and Tengen start fighting, but Togami runs away as Sato kills Tengen. This version of that event has come up a bunch today. Hina makes a slingshot. Slingshot Hina, perhaps. Mikan gets her hand stuck in a can of Pringles that is never gonna get out. You gotta cut that off, and I know it's made of cardboard. I'm, a, I'm an expert at cutting cardboard. <laughs> Oda says that there's something wrong. Uh, Oda says something wrong, and Cory calls them a foolish fool. Kizakura spends a day ticket on Iris. Don't let Oda say that. Don't don't let him don't let him see that. That's 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 not gonna be good for you. Mercedes <clears throat> receives clean water from Nano's sponsor. Monotaro sleeps for the day away from everyone else, deciding to work together for the day. Akane and Himino build an igloo for shelter. Komaru steps on a Lego oh no, a Lego brick wall barefoot, but shrugs off the pain. Kaide, Crazy Oko Extra Large, Gonta, Abuki, and Felix hunt for other tributes. Maya sets up an ice cream shack. Nakamaru comes and buys some. It tastes alright, but there's something off. Tastes like, is that chaos? No, it's poison. It turns out it's coated with poison. Hekamaru dies. Fuyihiko tries to spearfish with a trident. Haiji receives a medical splash from the known sponsor. Zero the Third finds a violin and begins to play it horribly, much to Kazuichi's frustration. He just got married. I'm sorry, he just got engaged. He just got proposed? Engaged? Engaged to be married, correct. 
Shirakuma steals from Mondo when he is a looking. Alter ego. Discovers a cave. Seiko receives a gift from Santa. Is a candy. <laughs> candy. <laughs> Kinda gets drenched in honey. Sticky. Yeah. 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 Ugh, I don't know, I'm not a fan of that. Tinko receives clean water from the known sponsor. Alice wakes up from a long nap. Kurokuma and Hiroko hunt for their tributes. Cannon ambushes Lysa at the end, kills her. That's the end of the, the end of the Dark Arts Masters. We can't give them a clear to loot yet, because we still got a couple people. Pennyworth, Pekko. Work together to toss Crazy Oko's items into lava, but Crazy Oko's still around. Mahiru catches the despair disease and starts posing dramatically. Chisa, Hafumi, and Kaito get chased by a rampaging Maki, and Hiro spends the day making snow angels. We lost 20. 20 out of I don't know how many, if I'm being completely certain, but we'll check in just a second. But that second will actually include many seconds, and those seconds will be a Claire de Lune for Daisaku, Himiko. Sarah, The Great Gozu, Munakata, Gerald, Joe, Sakura, Kibo, Kotoko, Natsumi, Usami, Aiba, Chiaki, Chuzo, Izuru, Gundam, Tengen, Nakamaru, Lysithia. And if we see everybody's statuses. Band-Aid completely in. Big Buff Family, lost one. Prepare for Trouble, lost one. Proud Fathers, lost one. The Asylum, the Jacket Failures, both completely in. The Big Sisters, lost one. In the Family, Dominus, completely in. The Power of God and Anime, lost one. Halfway Gone is Fanfic Fantasy. Beanie Brigade, completely in. Dark Art Specialist, completely out. Love Triangle only has Chisa. Art Class, completely in. TSM, lost Natsume. Pure Boys, lost Joe. Hotheads, lost Himiko. Almost... There's a lot of teams who have suffered losses. Noah and team only has Alter Ego. Dead Eyes are completely in. Hope's Last Stand still has two. Small and Mighty, Show Me Your Moves, The Watchful Protectors, The Murderous Mascots, and Black and White all completely in. Fight Club lost The Great Gozu. And the rest of you are not completely in. The Loving Brothers of Some Squad, The Sharp Edges, Boss Time, and The Timid Followers are. However, and Metacrops, no, not Metacrops, and Mind Tripper completely in, but Awful Intent and Metacrops both lost one. And thus, we can go on. Although, can we do a quick, well if I could spell alive, do a quick alive, we have 70, 70 remain. So yeah, let's hop into this. At the start of night one, Iris and Maya are trapped inside of a box for the night and decide to use their imaginations to liven things up. Imaginations. Alter Ego tries to enter the secret underground casino located in the arena, but gets turned away by the bouncer. Yes. A starving Kaito trades nearly half the supplies for Sato's loaf of bread. Kaito, I feel like you end up doing this a lot for some reason. Hiro goes to the love hotel with Maki, but somehow ends up waking up next to Felix. That is strange to say the least. Kizakura questions his sanity. Thinking quickly, Mitsurai constructs a homemade gun using only some string, a squirrel, and a gun. Santa Claus has a chance meeting with Mercedes and gives her a pogo stick for being good. Good on her. Mukuro uses all of her coins to buy out Avi's wares and despairs for the day. Mukuro, I thank you. You've got my blessings to win this one. <laughs> Togami, Taichi, Jin work together to build a shelter that Taichi secretly rigs with explosives. When Togami and Jin go to sleep, he sneaks out and detonates the bombs. Former agent of chaos knows what he's doing. Kind of. Because he took out one of his tag team partners. <laughs> That's the chaos still in him. Kurakuma unknowingly eats toxic berries, genocide, Jack panics and tries to cure Kuma, uh, Kurakuma and succeeds, probably because he's a robot and can't really be poisoned like that. Shirakuma passes out from exhaustion, Pewter rests in a tree, Jitaro violently shakes the tree to retrieve some fruit but causes Pewter to fall to his death. Rest in peace to one half of the Agents of Chaos, Crazy Oko Extra Large finds a big red button and presses it immediately as if she had a death wish. Much to her disappointment, the button doesn't do anything. Crazy Oko develops an irrational fear of Cannon after having a nightmare about her. Well, Cannon can be pretty scary. Pekko and Mondo tell each other their greatest fears in order to grow each other's trust. Oda and Ruka hold hands. Mahiru cuddles up against Akane. Kaede discovers Seiko hanging upside down from a telephone pole. Nobody knows what happened, but Seiko certainly isn't alive to tell the tale. One third of the champs are now gone. Aiko makes a hot stew for dinner before bedding down for the night. Haiji severely slices Mew with a sword. That is probably the end of Mew. Rest in peace to her. Gonta finds an Etch-a-Sketch somehow and ends up breaking it out of frustration. 
Kazuichi is unable to start a fire and sleeps without wanting to Izzy or Kusa Swoop before putting out his fire. And Komaru can't start a fire either. She's gonna be cold for the night. Any chance Monotaro and Hina had at friendship is destroyed when they're forced to fight over the last slice of pizza. Mmm. Mmm. When you gotta throw hands, you gotta throw hands. And the last slice of pizza is a reason to throw hands. She uh, stabs Ibuki with a tree branch. Now two thirds of the chance are out of this one. It relies on Mikan, the only one who is not one, to help them win the titles. Okay. Nane Achiaki and Rantaro have a tea party together while reaching for the kettle. Nane Achiaki knocks it over, spilling imaginary boiling water on Rantaro's lap. It burns like the real thin thing. Boss, Jen, and Kana get into a fight. Jen triumphantly kills them both. Boss is gone, and so is Kana. Rest in peace to the both of them. It is up to Kurumi and Aiko, their tag team partners. Zero the third sees a fire but stays hidden. Hifumi confesses his love for Yuta. Yuta lovingly embraces him, accepting the confession. Apparently they're bros now. Ryoma and Pennyworth build an igloo for shelter. Sonya grabs a kitchen knife. I hope it's for self-defense. Hopefully I haven't been talking to Sayaka. Maki grabs Mishima by the thread. <laughs> Alice tries to stay up all night to catch the mastermind but falls asleep. Kai goes to level to Wakori but somehow wakes up next to Hiroko. Nagisa tries to enter the underground casino but the bouncer <coughs> turns him away. Kurumi eh, finds Masu unconscious in the snow and nurses him back to health. What a good girl, Kurumi. Makoto tends to his wounds. Fuyuko ain't afraid of no ghost. Chihiro is actually fairly terrified by some ghosts though. Monokuma defeats Himino in a fight but spares her life. Tinka leaves cookies and milk out for Santa before she goes to sleep. Mikan confesses her love for Clover. Clover lovingly embraces her. She knows that she's a champ, she's just trying to get close to her. Accepting that confession, Angie finally finishes her novel as we proceed now to day two. We have lost a couple of people, actually. But at the start of this, Kurumi visits Santa and asks Avi. I'm sorry. Kurumi visits Santa and asks for a dragon, before being told to wish for something more realistic. She instead asks to be immune to Avi's jinxing. After a brief pause, Santa asks what color dragon she wants. Well, isn't that ha 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 funny? I'm not a jinx. Just you wait. One of my picks is gonna win. I hope. <laughs> Clover tends to Nagisa's wounds. Chisa and Jitaro sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Uh, no, don't do that. Hifumi receives coal from, from Santa. How, apparently he's been naughty this year. Pekka receives an explosion from the note sponsor. Hero can't handle the circumstances and commits a murder. Zero the Third is then Zero the Third's body is found in a lake. Oh, okay, Hero. Mercedes and Alice work together for the day. Felix is uh, unable to convince Nani Aichiaki not to kill him. Crazy Oko sets off an explosive killing her tag team partner. Crazy Oko extra large. She killed herself in the future. Her days are now numbered. Pity <laughs> Maya, Maki, and Monotaro hunt for other tributes. Mishima discovers a cave. Rantaro, Haiji, Sato, corner Mukuro, and are about to kill her. When suddenly she pulls out a grappling hook. He uses it to escape. Izioi receives medical supplies from the note sponsor. Akane, Kazuichi, and Mondo join the Adventurer's Guild and are assigned roles based on their stats. Akane is the Righteous Knight. Kazuichi, the wise and wizard, and Mondo, the janitor. Mondo would be the pretty dope janitor, I'll be completely honest. Aiko runs into a yeti in the forest, but manages to escape. Thank goodness, it was almost the end of your team. Angie hangs up mistletoe in the arena. On normal circumstances, I'd be wagging my finger. But it's the Christmas season, go ahead and do what you gotta do. Kaito says something wrong, and Kaede calls him a foolish fool. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but Kaede, the, say, the, the term foolish fool said in Kaede's voice, Warms my heart for some reason. Makoto drinks some cocoa to stay warm. Kai steps on a Lego brick while Barefoot shrugs off the pain. Mikan shoots Ruka with a shrink ray and steps on her. Oh my gosh! Mikan! Mitarai plays chess with death and wins Sonya. Ryoma, Fuihiko, Tenko, and Hina track down and kill Kanan, rest in peace to her. Taichi confesses how much he has come to hate Kurakuma. Kurakuma's like, ah, feelings are mutual. Kori and Masaru enter a rebuttal showdown. Hiroko puts on a pair of shutter shades, increasing her aesthetic level tenfold. It's because she is best girl making Genocide Jack and Monokuma very envious. Alter Ego poisons Jin's drink. He drinks it and dies. Rest in peace to him. Komaru challenges Iris and Chihiro to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Komaru murders Iris and Chihiro as soon as the competition starts before eating a single pancake and earning the title of World Pancake Champion. Well, anything goes. 
Shirakuma Yuta <laughs> and Kizakura race each other downhill with snowboards. Himino wants a way out of this arena for Christmas. Oh, that's a pretty good Christmas grift. That's, uh, Santa might hear you out on that. Hopefully the way out isn't death. Mayuri throws some sand into the eyes of Gonta, causing Gonta to go temporarily blind for the rest of the day. Apparently his glasses didn't protect him from that blow. Oda gets drenched in honey. He is, un unfortunately, he's allergic. I didn't know Oda was allergic to honey. Well, he's dead now, so I guess he's not allergic anymore. We'll proceed. We lost. Oh, no, not again. Are you serious? Oh, I guess it's the holiday season, so we probably should be running a whole bunch of sales, correct? Correct. There's another flash sale down at Avi's Wares and Despairs. Mishima sneaks into the back room to find the dead bodies of Crazy Hyoko and Masaru. He runs out of the store, terrified without figuring out what happened back there. Monotaro works at Avi's Wares and Despairs, clocks out, and heads back to the arena. Good, good employee. I'm proud of you. Kurokuma forgot his wallet and is kicked out by store security. Maki, Mikan, and Nane Aichiaki go shopping in the feeder of the freezer section. Haiji locks them in freezing them to death, and ensuring that we will get new champs this episode. Aiko gets a 50% discount on a sick sword. Izuoi forgot his, uh, forgets his wallet. He's out of here. Mitarai shops till he drops. Dead. Yuta buys a sick set of nunchucks. Good on him. Taichi sneaks into the back room, finds the dead bodies of the current champ Hina and the Luminary of the Losers Kaito. What a... What an interesting pairing to find back there. A true winner and a true loser. He runs out terrified without figuring what happened back there. Roko. Gets a 50% discount on a six sword. Alice buys some nunchucks. Tinko forgets her wallet, kicked out of the store. Mahiru tips over an aisle, which causes the other aisles to fall like dominoes, killing Chisa, Alter Ego, and Fuyihiko. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. In the process, Maya, Hiro, and Akane go into the freezer section. Genocide Jack locks them all in, freezing them to death. Holy heck. Rantaro sneaks into the back room and finds the dead bodies of Kazuichi and Angie. He runs out of the store terrified, trying to figure out what happened back there. Nagisa takes a free sample. Sato gets that 50% discount on a six sword. Jitaro forgets his wallet. Gonta takes too many free samples and is killed off by security. Y'all, security? Y'all are wildin'. I, you could've you could just kicked him out. You didn't have to kill him. Kamaru and Shirakuma team up to catch the most sales possible. Kai works at Amy's Wears and Despairs. Clocks out. Heads back. Mercedes cuts Kaede in line. Kaede cuts Mercedes with a knife. <laughs> okay. Kizakura tips over an aisle, which causes the other aisles to fall like dominoes, killing Himino, Kori, and Monokuma in the process. Peko cuts Kurumi in line. Kurumi cuts Peko with a knife. Pennyworth and Makoto joust with shopping carts. Only Pennyworth survives. Our new horn bearer has just clocked out with his life. But speaking of clocking out, Mondo works at AV's Wears and Despair's clocks out and heads back to the arena. Mukuro and Ryoma team up to catch the most sales possible. Florover catches a- or takes a free sample. And Hifumi and Sonya joust with shopping carts. Only Hifumi survives, which means that is also the end of Prepare for Trouble. Rest in peace to them. We'll proceed. We lost 41! That brings us to 29, I think. Okay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> We got a long Claire de Lune. Four. Togami. Jin. Pewter. Seiko. Mew. Ibuki. Boss. Kana. The Zero the Third. Felix. Crazy Yoko. Extra Large. Ruruka. Cannon. Jin. Iris. Chihiro. Oda. Crazy Yoko. Masaru. Maki. Mikan. Nane Aichiaki. Mitarai. Hina, Kaito, Chisa, Alter Ego, Fuyihiko, Maya, Hiro, Akane, Kazuichi, Angie, Gonta, Mercedes, Himino, Kori, Monokuma, Peko, Makoto, and Sonya. And now, <laughs> we will have new champs. We will definitely have new champs. But as I said, if we control F alive, we have 29. Yes, correct. We got rid of 41 real quick. <laughs> I expected that to go on for a little bit longer, but okay. We have the Proud Fathers. We have uh, Kaede for the Asylum. The Big Sisters still have Mukro, which means your Light Bearers are technically still in. <sighs> Dominance has Clover. Fanfic Fantasy with Hifumi. Beanie Brigade with Ryoma. 
Art Class with Jitaro and Mishima, TSM with our Hornbearer Sato, Pure Boys, Yuta and Izioi, the Hotheads have Mahiru, the Dead Eyes have Komara with 6 KOs, my gosh. Hope's Last Stand is gone, Small and Mighty does still have Monotaro, I thought they were completely out, but it's still Monotaro there. Move, uh, Show Me Your Moves has Tinko with 5, Jeez Louise, Watchful Protectors, both still in, surprisingly. Mm, Black and White both still in, surprisingly, too, the Fight Club completely out. Loving Brothers completely in, which is also surprising, Jeez Louise, Sim Squad still has Nagisa, Sharp Edges has Jack Kai, Boss Time has Karumi, Timid Followers, Aiko, Awful Intense, Haiji, Hiroko remains for Metacrops, and the... Agents of Chaos will not claim the titles. We got 29 left. I'm excited to see how this turns out. I hope you are too, but to get there we have to proceed with the action. 29 left. 19 until you're saving Grace Pick. And 28 until we have new champions. At the start of night 2, Taichi is hot and bothered. Because Hiroko set Taichi on fire with a flamethrower. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Alice and Kurokuma tell each other their greatest fears in order to grow each other's trust. <coughs> Nagisa sleeps peacefully in an igloo until Kaede kicks one of the bricks in, causing the cave in, suffocating Nagisa. Rest in peace to him. Ryoma rejects your, lad, uh, Ryo, de, de, your reality and substitutes in his own, consequently he ends up dead. Sato kills Haiji with its own weapon, which means <coughs> Awful Intense will not be your champions. My hero looks at the nighttime sky, Yuta fiercely shakes up a soda can and pops the tab, blasting Mukuro in the face with a stream of soda. Mukuro will remember that. <laughs> she sure will. You also have to remember, it's the season of the Asahinos and Yuta still in. Never forget. Mishima sets up camp for the night. Komaru puts her trust into... Izioi allows herself to fall backwards. Izioi catches her. Like the pure boy that he is, Komaru says that she trusts Izioi with her life. Aiko. Leaves milk and cookies out before she goes to sleep. Shirakuma stays awake all night. Rantaro, Kizakura, and Kai enter a scrum debate with Mondo, Hifumi, and Pennyworth. They argue about V3's ending, which I say is not that bad. Clover goes to AV's wares and despairs and has to put up with Mariah Carey's Christmas album. I tell you, all I want for Christmas is you is a bop. Don't act like it's not a bop. Even if you think it's overplayed at some point in your life, you thought it was a bop. Genocide Jack and Karumi are trapped inside of a box for the night, using their imaginations to liven things up. Maki grabs Tenko by the throat. Monotaro grabs Kokichi by the throat. <laughs> oh, very nice, very nice. Jitaro looks up at the nighttime sky, will proceed it is day three as Aiko explores the arena. Kafumi attacks Izioi, but Tenko protects him, killing Kafumi, rest in peace to him. Kaede melts some snow to get some water, very clever. Mahiru goes nya nya to annoy. Jotaro. Kurumi receives a gift from Santa. It's mistletoe. Uh-oh. Mishima takes a sip of tea, but the scalding hot liquid proves too much for him and he spits it out into Komaru's face. Kurukuma starts a cult. Mukuro, Kai, Alice, and Mondo happily join. That's terrifying. Y'all in a cult? Okay. Pennyworth catches the despair disease and starts posing. Dramatically. Yuta punches Genocide Jack off of a cliff, screaming, Punch Club forever! To the heavens, rest in peace to Jack. Shirakuma and Kizakura insult one another relentlessly after getting into a bloody fight. Hiroko thinks about home. Monotaro hands Sato and Rantaro an invitation to his birthday party. They both tear up those invitations before his eyes. Small and mighty. Hopefully he's got a, a, a big heart because that's gonna hurt his big heart. Clover. Drink some cocoa to stay warm. We lost six. Just six, which is so much more peaceful than all of the other Claire de Lunes we've had so far. <laughs> a sense of normalcy as we had a Claire de Lune. Four. Taichi. Nagisa. Ryoma. Haiji. Hifumi. Jack. Genocide Jack. And thus, the first four teams are gone. The Asylum still has... Kaede, the owner, and operator, and first, first, uh, first person to enter the asylum, the Akamatsu Asylum. Mukuro's still here with no KOs. Clover's still here for dominance. Could, could be the one to turn dominance around. Could dominate today. We also have two members of the art class: Sato, our horn bearer; Yuta and Izioi, Mahiru for the hotheads. Dead Eye still have Komaru. Small and Mighties have. The smallest member, Monotaro. Show me your moves with Tenko, who now has six KOs. Watchful Protectors, both still in. Black and White, still both still in. The Lovin' Brothers, all still in. 
Kai remains as the sole survivor for Sharp Edges, Boss the sole survivor for Boss Time, Timid Followers the only one is Aiko, and lastly we have Hiroko and one of them will come out on top. But who will it be? We have, what, 23 remain? Less than a standard sized game. We are at a sense of normalcy as we proceed to night three. Alice sets a few more traps before running, I'm sorry, returning to camp for the night. Mondo and Shirakuma are trapped inside of a box. They use their imaginations to liven things up. Jatara walks into the camp inside of Kurakuma and Mishima and throws the disembodied head of Mukuro at their feet as a warning sign of things to come. That's your last light bearer. Nobody will be brought with them. There will be no fan vote. And thus, we have to just keep on going. Kizakura Kai and Monotaro play a game of Monopoly. Kizakura loses all of his property and flips the board over. Oh no, Clover's about to die, but Kurumi's like, that doesn't count. Sato finds Kaede unconscious in the snow and nurses her back to help. How nice. Tenko unfortunately steps on a landmine. Rest in peace to her. Her six KOs with a knot. With a knot. Mahiru battles Pennyworth in an intense game of rock, paper, scissors. Mahiru bashes Pennyworth's head in with an actual rock. Well, that'll do it. Rock beats skull. <laughs> Jack Frost scares Aiko and Hiroko away from their camp with his Yeti costume. Komaru disowns Izioi for being a disgrace to the family. Yuta's about to die, but Rantaro's like, that doesn't count either. It's day four. <clears throat> Kurakuma is exposed to Kizakura's sensitivity or causing him to become more emotional. Jitaro, Komaru, Monotaro, and Kaede play cards. Monotaro's probably gonna cheat. Jitaro's probably gonna cheat. The other two will probably be. Ah, oh, you know what? Kai is low-key gonna cheat, but you'll never know. Kurumi falls into a pit, but somehow lives. Clover receives a gift from Santa. It's candy. <laughs> candy. Sato, Yuta, Izioi, and Hiroko play cards. Shirakuma finds a violin and begins playing it horribly, much to Mondo's frustration. Aiko. Aiko K. Sets off an explosive, killing Alice, Mahiru, Kai, and Mashima. Did you kill off the rest of the Your Turn to Die cast and Mahiru? You sure did. Holy heck, Aiko. Rantaro picks frozen berries from the forest. It was gonna be a short day, but instead we lost. Seven. We we're gonna lose, what, three? And then instead, seven. So because of Aiko, we gotta hit a Claire de Lune 4. Mukuro. Tenko. Pennyworth. Alice. Mahiru, Kai, Mashima, and it is a new champion alert. We will get them soon, sooner rather than later. I think we're at 16. We are indeed the 16, and those 16 are Kai A Day. The only person in the first little scroll here. We have Clover, we have Jotaro, we have Sato, two pure boys, Yuta and Izayoi, Komaru, Monotaro. Kizakura, both members of Black and White, now just two members of the Loving Brothers, Kurumi, Aiko, and Hiroko. And it's 16. Six more until your saving grace picks. Will you need them? How am I saving grace? I said, I said, prepare for trouble. I said, the big sisters. I said, the medium grade. I'm gonna need some saving grace picks, but first we gotta proceed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoops. Let's go ahead. Let's see what happens. At the start of night 4, Kaede berates Monotaro for not protecting her better. Maki grabs Izioi by the throat. Maki, you are dead. You need to calm down with your zombie hand. Kurumi is drinking hot chocolate. It's so good that Kurumi doesn't stop until she dies from a sugar overdose. Kurumi. <laughs> it was your chance. It was almost boss time. Avi the Ultimate Jinx comments on how well Jotaro's doing. Kurakumi walks, uh, Kurakuma walks up to Jotaro and says that's a rough buddy. Jotaro, he needs himself a win. <clears throat> Aiko finds the secret stash of pancakes that Avi hypothetically hinted at. Aiko, you can you can have a couple. It's, 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 it's fake. It's fake. It's, it's not mine. That's it's not mine because I don't have a pancake addiction. That's not. That's no. That's, that's it's cardboard. Yeah, <laughs> hypothetically. Shirakuma walks into a portal and turns it on. His molecules get all rearranged and he gets ghost powers. Haru uh, Hiroko sees a fire of his spade, uh, stays hidden. Woo. Under the cover of darkness, Kizakura spies on Mondo. Rantaro berates Karu <laughs> Komaru for not protecting him better. Sato lets Yuta into her shelter. Clover finds an etch sketch somehow, ends up breaking it in frustration. We are at the feast. We are at the- Ooh. 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 
We are at the feast and things go down real fast as Aiko grabs some rash and Shirakuma, Hiroko, Monotaro, and Kizukuro form a suicide pact killing themselves. That is the end of all of them. <clears throat> Yuta, Season of the Hasahinas, sets off an explosive killing Mondo, Kurakuma, Izayoi, and Tataro. That's another, that's eight. That's eight of our 16. In just those first two events, we lost half of the people remaining. Rantaro stabs Komaru in the back with a trident. That's another person gone. Rest in peace to her. Kaede sets Sato on fire with a Molotov. Rest in peace to her, our horn bearer. That is a, this is, I think that's as close as she's ever gotten. And Clover gathers as much food as she possibly can before fleeing, which means we are down to just our final few. It is Aiko, it is Yuta, it is Rantaro, it is Kaede, and it is Clover. It's your final five. We'll proceed. It is your final five. <coughs> Kaede attempts to strangle Rantaro, but awkwardly ends up massaging his shoulders. Yuta smacks the taste out of Aiko's mouth, and Clover sleeps the entire day away from everyone else. And unless there's an arena event, and there's not, we lost 11, which means we are at your final five. Five teams remain. So after this, Claire de Lune 4. Kurumi. Shirakuma. Hiroko. Monotaro. Kizakura. Mondo. Kurakuma. Izayoi, Jotaro, Komaru, Sato. It's how the simulator does it sometimes. We're gonna skip the fancy samurai woman, but we aren't going to skip what we all know. It is time for your... Saving Grace Picks. The Asylum has Kaede. Dominance has Clover, Pacifist Clover. As we scroll, we see Yuda, Season of the Asahinas, <laughs> for the pure boys. As we scroll, we see the Loving Brothers has Rantaro, our horn bearer, our ocarina player. And lastly, we have the Timid Followers with Aiko. This is an interesting Final Five. I'd really be happy with any of these teams. So I have to ask you guys, who do you think it's going to be? The Asylum, Kaede. Dominance, Clover. Pure Boys, Yuta. Loving Brothers, Rantaro. Timid Followers, Aiko. Make your saving grace picks known. Going to the comments. Editing your comment. Pick first, second, and third again. You got a one in five shot at getting first rate. That's all I gotta say. I know who I'm gonna pick. But as you make those, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell button, because you gotta do that. That's how you be the best supporter you can be. I can't stray from Yuta in first because it's been the season of the Asahinas, at least on the singles bracket. Yuta's trying to get on both. I got Yuta. And I'd be fine with tossing a championship on him, Izayoi, and Joe. Give me uh, Aiko for second. I don't know why. I think she's just gonna have a good day. And give me. Kaede for third, just because I love the Asylum. I love Dominance, and I love the Loving Brothers too, so I'm really fine with any of these teams. But that's just how I think it's going to play out. Will I be correct? Probably not. Rarely am, <laughs> as of late. <laughs> but, in what was not really a shocking turn, did I ever actually end the recording or did it end it for me? I think it ended her formula now. <sighs> and what is a shocking turn of events? It is Kaede. It is Clover. It is Yuta. It is Rantaro. And it is Aiko. These five all caught in a championship crisis of fate. Are you ready? Who will replace Band Aid as the champs? Let's find out with a proceed. It does not end, but I will say. Aiko and Yuta exercise under the stars. Rantaro sets off an explosive killing Clover. Dominance will not be dominating today. Kaede uses all of her mana coins to buy out Avi's wares and despairs for the day. We keep restocking y'all just keep buying out. There was even a sale. It is, it is, I'm making a ton of mana coins. I'm making a ton of mana coins. Yeah, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> we'll proceed. It's day, um, it's day six. Rantaro shows Yuta his murder list. At the top of the list is Yuta's name. It's in bold, too. Aiko receives a hatch from that on sponsor, and 
Kaede runs into a Yeti in the forest but manages to escape. The Yetis have not been doing major damage. There's a bunch of major damage eventually the Yetis, but they have not done. So we lost just one. One member. It is dominant. And it is unfortunately a terrible turnabout for her. Clover. And as we see everybody's statuses, it is now Kaede. It is Yuta. It is Rantaro. And it is Aiko. Timid followers, loving brothers, pure boys, and the Asylum are all still caught in a crisis of fate. We can only have one team win. My goggles are a little bit off kilter. But you know what? That's just how it is. <laughs> it's, it's just how it is. It, it, they're just little sideways, but you know what? Let's go ahead. It doesn't matter if my goggles are sideways, because what I will say is that we're about to have a new champ. As we click proceed, Kaede overpowers Yuta, killing him, trying to end the season of the Asahinas. Aiko goes to the left hotel with Rantaro. We are down to our final three. Kaede, Aiko, and Rantaro. Will it end as we click proceed? I don't know, but we had it could happen with the simulator. The Asylum, the Timid Followers, or the Loving Brothers will proceed. Kaede's trap kills Aiko. Kaede is starting to go off. Rantaro, as an employee of Avi's Wears and Despairs, prepares for the holiday shopping raid. Rantaro, don't worry, you're my horn bear. I know, I know. I looked at your application. You were like, you, 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 good, you good. You worry about this game because it is now the Asylum versus the Loving Brothers. It is Kaede and whew, ooh, this is interesting. The Asylum are all former one-time tag team champions, a part of separate teams. If they win, they all become two-time tag team champions. That would be nuts. Rantaro and the Loving Brothers, however, I don't know, we'll have to proceed. We lost two. It is a terrible turnabout for these two. Yuta. Aiko. Did you believe it was the three people that I picked? Or did I pick Rantaro? No, I don't think I picked Clover. I don't think I picked Clover. I don't remember. I just know, look, I'm, I'm really excited about this final two. It is the Asylum, and it is the Loving Brothers. It is Kaede, who was a part of the Steel-Minded Girls. They were tag team champs. Crazy Yoko Extra Large, who was a part of the Pimp's Entourage, who were tag team champs. It is Crazy Hyoko, who was a part of the Thumbtack Terrors, who were tag team champs. They have come together as a part of this asylum, could become your new tag team champs. The next set of three people to be two-time tag team champs, which would be nuts, which would be phenomenal. And we also have the Loving Brothers, Rantaro, Mondo, plenty of second places, no, plenty of silver, no championship gold could change that today. Alice has not appeared, has not appeared a ton, but is a good boy, a loving brother, deserves it in his own right. It is a battle between Rantaro and Kaede, and I have to ask you, who will it be? Kaede to become a two-time tag team champion alongside Ibuki, Mikan, Seiko, and then alongside would-be two-time tag team champions Crazy Yoko Extra Large and Crazy Yoko, or will it be first-time champions Rantaro, Mondo, and Alice? Who will it be? Kaede or Rantaro? The Asylum or the Loving Brothers? Who will take the titles from Bandai? Shall we proceed? Shall we find out? Kaede Rantaro. Kaede Rantaro. Kaede Rantaro. Your winners and new champs. Rantaro kills Kaede with her own weapon. That's it. That is all she wrote. This season hasn't been the best for Rantaro, but you know what? He found the Ocarina, he got his season together, 
And with that, I can say with certainty that you're winners. And new. And new. Don Gon Rampa Hunger Games Tag Team Champions. With the one, the only, Silver Metal Mondo now holding his first championship gold. With Alice from Your Turn to Die. Rantaro takes the win and claims the gold. job to the Loving Brothers. I see like I'm almost certain the asylum will be back next year. Or yeah I guess I guess I can say next year. <laughs> Cause this year's about to be over. I really do want the asylum to snag those titles at some point, but that's not that's out of my control. Today is the day of the Loving Brothers. If you were ever rooting for him, here they are today. If you love Rantaro, there he is today. If you love Mondo, there he is today. And if you love Alice, in fact, they all placed in the top 20, which is very impressive in a game this size, in a game of 90. <laughs> Still smaller than tomorrow's game. That is nuts. Congratulations to them. They are your tag team champions. And you can bring up the bracket right now. Rantaro, Mondo, and Alice, the Loving Brothers now holding that gold. Congratulations to them, but we had some fantastic things that happened this time. Kazuichi and Crazy Oak Extra Large finally tied the knot, good on them. That's, <laughs> that's about it. Oh no, we had Makoto, and we had Miss Maya, both etching their names in history, taking charge, grabbing instruments, and sounding horns. The horn sounders are now starting to really fill out, and I'm really appreciating it. So good on them. We had Kaede in second with five KOs, Aiko in third with four, Yuta in fourth with fifth, trying to make it the season of the Asahinas again, couldn't do it. Clover in fifth, Sato in sixth, Kurumi in I'm sorry, not Kurumi, Komaru in seventh, Lucky number seven, Jotaro in eighth, Izio in ninth, and Kurakuma in tenth. And thus, this is the end of tag team action. Which means... The fan votes start to today or tomorrow. Well, we got a ton for singles. And since this is the first time that you have one fan vote for the tag teams, I don't know quite how I'm going to do it. I might make it a tag team like... I could do that. Or I might not do that. Since it is... Since... Mm, because it's only one spot, I might give everyone a chance. I might do... I could do that. I could do that. I could take all the teams who are not there, put them all into a vote. On day one, we'll take the top ten votes and put them onto the day two vote. And then from there, we'll take the top five teams, put them on the day three vote, and the winner of the top five will be entered into the finale. That might be a good way to do it since picking categories would be a little tricky. A little tricky just for one. Because we've never had just one fan vote for a bracket. This is the first time that that's ever happened. Congratulations to Rantaro though. They took the titles from Band-Aid. Band-Aid started off so strong in the, it wasn't, I don't even think it was the arena event, I think it was just like a day where most of them got out, two of them got out, and then Mikan got out shortly afterwards. Yeah, there's that day. There it is, 65, right, right surrounding spot 66, of course. A shame to them, but hold on, let's do a slow scroll. Let's do a slow scroll, there everyone is, everyone from top to bottom. As we keep on going, as we keep on keeping on, this was a game and a half. We're clocking it at just under an hour, and I'm gonna make sure we don't hit an hour. Start with Kai blowing a dart into Daisaku's neck, slowly killing him. All ended with Rantaro killing Kaede with her own weapon. Congrat I feel like the Asylum <laughs> might have picked up a lot of new fans <laughs> after this one. So they might be up there on the fan votes, but I know there's going to be a couple teams that are people are going to be really, really rooting for. We'll proceed again. And that's it. From start to finish. Unfortunate for the Dark Arts Specialists. They might get some sympathy too. 
those are the teams, and most of these teams, except for the Loving Brothers, the... Except for the Loving Brothers, Band-Aid, and Mind Trip, all of those teams will be on the first poll, which I guess will open... This is about an hour. It'll open at 5.30. So in just a couple of minutes if you're watching live. Or as the or as it came out. 5.30 it'll be on the community tab, and it'll be in the announcement on, on the Discord probably shortly after 5.30. Probably not right at 5.30. I can schedule a community post. Can't schedule a Discord post, so it'll be there at some point on Discord in the announcements. But it'll definitely be there. Go and check it out. It'll probably be in the description in the pinned comment, actually. Never mind. You, you'll find it. You'll find it. <laughs> oh, man. Where's the KOs? There they are. Komaru and Tinko both had six. Kaede and Yuta both had five. Almost once again the season of the Asahinas. Aiko had four. Jin had three. Good on you, Jin. You had a good game. Rantaro with three. Taichi with three. Everyone else with two or less. And that's game. We have new champs. And it is... They are the Loving Brothers. Good on them. I'm proud of them. And, <laughs> as soon as the Loving Brothers ditched Kor, <laughs> they found some light. Alright. Mm. Uh, let's go back to the Reaping, then. Uh, you know what? How many kills did our Light Bearers have? They had... Uh, Mukuro got none. Hina got one. And... Sarah, I think, got two... Maybe Sarah got none too. Or I might just be blind. Sarah, yeah, maybe Sarah got none too. Interesting. So yeah, only Hina got a KO. I don't know who she would have brought with her, but she didn't finish anywhere near the top, so it's kind of whatever. We'll go back to the reaping. That is this game. Congratulations, your new Danganronpa Hunger Games Tag Team Champions of the World, the Loving Brothers. And tomorrow, it is single action. And we will fill out the singles bracket and get your fan votes rolling for that. We'll, I'll probably pick the categories for that since you guys have so many fan votes. <laughs> Which is nuts. Congratulations once again to the Loving Brothers. Hina has a big day. In fact, everyone who you saw here today who's actual Dong on Rapa will probably be there tomorrow. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm excited to see how it goes down. At this point in time, I don't know what weapon I'm giving them all tomorrow. I've set up the game, but have not given weapons. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see about that. Until then, it's been an hour. Stay classy. Gear of the Horizon. Toodaloo. Fly crew. Thanks for watching. And get ready to get some fan voting going on. I guess technically at this point, it's not open. Ah, I might just open it at 4.30. Why not? We'll go ahead and open it at 4.30. Stay classy. Toodaloo. Fly crew.